tell you about uh, one of the Azure services, uh, quite uh, advanced service. Uh, and uh, yeah, I will start my presentation for now. And um, start. Sharing. Okay, please uh, let me know if you can see my screen. Yes. Great, thank you. So, um, I start. I will start a bit from um, introduction of myself. Uh, I'm a, a business intelligence developer with uh, more than six years of experience. I'm with SoftServe more than two years already, and been working with uh, different projects uh, for building uh, BI solutions, data solutions, uh, uh, visualization solutions, and so on. Um, in general, my uh, experience includes um, Microsoft stack, starting from on-premise Microsoft BI tools. And uh, right now, I'm um, mostly focused on Azure services. But uh, as well, I've worked with uh, other uh, technologies, such as GCP and, 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 and others. Um, so uh, what are we going to uh, talk about today is, uh, as I told, uh, Azure Analysis Services, especially it's, it will be a tabular model. Um, we will cover uh, various analysis services in uh, BI architecture. Uh, I will show you some uh, features of it and uh, actually how much it costs to have analysis services on your project. I will show you a demo where I will present a tool set that is uh, um, very useful when you start developing your project. Uh, and um, yeah, and I will share some uh, links that will also help you to uh, get some um, information about this service. So, um, what is actually analysis services? It's a, a platform as a service uh, in Azure uh, that uh, actually consists of uh, aggregated data. And um, you can use this uh, data for future uh, processing, analysis, and data visualizations. So it is available in uh, uh, many platforms, such as uh, on cloud in Azure, uh, Power BI Premium, and uh, you can also build it on the uh, premise. Uh, and it is also a really good tool if uh, your users uh, need uh, some uh, ad hoc reporting. So uh, your role will be to uh, develop uh, a cube and uh, um, show users how to use it and um, as from my experience, they can really benefit from having such a, uh, data storage analytical um, tool. In terms of uh, architecture, uh, this is a diagram from uh, Microsoft. Uh, so it's just to illustrate where analysis services are in terms of uh, architecture design. So as you can see, uh, analysis services is built on top of your uh, storage. Uh, it can be a data warehouse, it can be some uh, Databricks uh, delta tables, or uh, I will show you later how uh, many data sources are available for uh, analysis services. So actually it's a semantic model on top of your uh, like, uh, data. Yeah, it can be uh, any kind of um, uh, data you're using on your project. And uh, you can add a lot of uh, different uh, features on, on your uh, analysis services layer. So you will use it uh, for your uh, analysis purposes. In terms of pricing, um, yeah, it's, it's not a solution for some uh, really small companies, I would say, that are not ready to pay uh, a lot of money for a new feature. Uh, as you can see, it's, um, it's varying from uh, 600 per month up to uh, 24,000. Uh, and um, it's, it's a good solution for some enterprise uh, companies, I would say. Um, regarding tools uh, you can use, uh, 
when building uh, anal analysis services. First of all, it's an uh, Azure portal where you uh, create uh, a resource, you uh, set up um, uh, network uh, related uh, uh, questions or uh, you add uh, any uh, accesses and so on. Also, you are going to use uh, SQL Server Management Studio also for uh, administering, for uh, processing. Uh, I will also present uh, all of this. Uh, for uh, starting developing a solution, solution uh, you're going to use Visual Studio. And uh, you would need to have uh, uh, analysis services extension uh, installed in order to be able to create uh, analysis services project. Another uh, good uh, tools, uh, they are open source. It's a tabular editor and a deck studio. Uh, tabular editor helps you easier to create objects uh, in, in your model, uh, to write docs, uh, queries, if you need so. I, like, I will show also this one. Uh, doc Studio is also a nice tool where you can uh, create docs, queries, and uh, at the same time uh, show the result. Uh, and uh, in order to browse, to consume your data, um, you can use uh, Excel, Power BI, and other analytical tools. But in our case, I will show just a few of them. Okay, uh, let's start uh, with a demo. I will start with um, where you can find analysis services in a marketplace in Asia. So what you need to do is uh, go to the Azure portal and a look for analysis services. Yeah, you can find uh, this resource in the list. And when you click create, uh, you're going to see a few fields you need to fill in in order to create your uh, analysis services uh, resource. In our case, I have already it created because it takes some time to uh, deploy uh, a service. So what you need to do is to uh, select subscription, resource group, uh, pricing tire. Like if you are um, doing your um, some investigation or so on, you have a, a develop, developer uh, pricing tire. Uh, it's quite cheap and uh, you can use it for your um, proof of concept, uh, for example, purposes. Okay, uh, when you have uh, analysis services uh, created, uh, you will see uh, this uh, page, it's a um, general uh, Microsoft Azure page where you can uh, change settings of your uh, service uh, and so on. Another thing uh, regarding uh, Azure Analysis Services, you can uh, pause and uh, uh, start when you need to. Uh, this process can also be uh, automated so you will not need to pay uh, money when you don't need this service. So you can, for example, just run service during working hours of uh, your users and just, just then just stop it. But uh, yeah, yeah, it takes some time to start service and to shut down service. So just you need to uh, note it. Okay. Um, in order to create your first model, you would need to use uh, Visual Studio. Uh, in my case, it's Visual Studio uh, 2022 with uh, installed uh, analysis services extension uh, because it will allow you to create um, analysis services project. So what I would do is uh, I will create a new project. And for today demo, I will go with a tabular project. Just a second, I'm logging in. Uh, 
my Visual Studio is opening, so just one second. Okay. There it is. Uh, so uh, what we can see now, it's uh, an empty uh, analysis services project. Uh, and first thing that we need to do is to uh, connect it to our data source. Right now, I will show you uh, what data sources are available. So yeah, you can see that there are a list of uh, different uh, data sources. If you uh, have experience with uh, Power BI, uh, this interface is uh, familiar for you. So you can see a different type of uh, databases, files, and services you can connect to it. Uh, in our today's session, I'm going to use uh, Azure uh, database to connect to it. Okay, we selected the database and it's here. So right now uh, we created one connection for, uh, for the database and we can use it uh, for importing uh, a tables to uh, our model. So how to import, I will just import new table from the source. And in our case, I've created two demo tables its product and purchase order, and just click load. Okay, so um, in our case, we have uh, in a, a table folder, uh, two objects that you already added. It's a product and purchase order detail. Um, yeah, if you uh, need to change a source to add uh, some new calculations, some new value to your uh, data source, uh, you can always uh, do this. If you go to uh, click on your uh, table and click uh, source data, you will be prompted to uh, Power Query uh, Editor. And uh, you can uh, uh, just any data transformation you need to your uh, data. The same way as in uh, Power BI, you're using Power M uh, language. And um, yeah, you could uh, add, for example, any calculation. For example, I want to replace color. color. And it will do everything for you. You, you can see uh, in advanced editor that you have a new step added to it. You to save my changes. Um, another thing that is convenient to do in uh, Visual Studio is uh, connecting your tables. Uh, currently, it is just uh, two separate entities. They are not connected between each other. Since we are uh, building one model, we need uh, our data to be uh, connected. So in our case, we are just adding product ID uh, relation. And now we can uh, query this. Uh, two tables in one uh, query. Another uh, thing uh, that is important is uh, adding uh, partitions. Uh, it is uh, mostly applicable for uh, fact tables. In our case, it's a purchase order digital table. And right now, by default, it creates only uh, one partition. Uh, what we can do is uh, for example, to divide uh, our data, um, usually it is by date. Yeah, uh, 
if I go to design again, yeah, and we have a partition created, and I know that uh, there is data uh, from <clears throat> uh, 2013. So what I can do is just to add filter. Uh, I need to change the time first. And now I can add Okay, I know that I have data starting from July, but January, and uh, I will create this partition for 2013. And I'm closing it. Okay, so right now I have one partition. So when I um, uh, process data, so I will only return data for one year. Uh, what I can do is uh, to add a new partition. I will do uh, the same, but I will change uh, a date. So I will have only uh, data after 2014. Okay. So uh, in this case, uh, when I will process data, uh, it will uh, go in parallel process to uh, partitions. Because if, for example, your uh, table contains uh, millions of records, it will take some time to uh, process data in one partition. And um, I'll, let's pretend we did all our changes and we need to uh, deploy our model to the server. Uh, it's easy to do. We are just deploying it from uh, Visual Studio. Yeah, my uh, Visual Studio project is connected to the server. When I was signing in, I uh, selected which server I want to be uh, connected to. So right now I have a message that my model was um, successfully deployed. And if I go to uh, analysis services resource, Yeah, I can see that this uh, demo cube is already deployed. So um, in terms of Visual Studio, I would say that is um, this part where you can use Visual Studio. If you need to uh, create any additional um, calculations and measures, I would suggest using Tabular Editor. It's a great tool. Uh, that is really convenient to use for such cases. And I will show you what it can do. Uh, first of all, uh, I will connect to um, a model. So I can do it either connecting from a um, local file or I can uh, go directly to the uh, server and connect to existing models. Okay, so I will gonna see uh, the same uh, model, but uh, in different uh, tool. So you can see the, there is a um, source we created, relationship. We can also do this from here, add new create a relationship if we need. It's much, uh, I don't know, for me, it's more user-friendly than uh, Visual Studio. And we have our tables. So here, uh, what is good thing, for example, you can uh, multi-select, for example, and create new folder for it. And you can call it some measures. So then your uh, columns or measures will be displayed 
in such um, folders if you need. You can create a new um, calculated column if needed. Yeah, you can. Um, so you will have it created. And uh, as you uh, saw on Visual Studio, if you make some changes, you would need to uh, deploy each time a solution. It's, it takes some time. And uh, in case of tabular editor, you are just uh, clicking save and all the changes you made in uh, tabular editor will, will be uh, reflected in your, uh, on your server when you uh, select save. Okay, what? Else here, yeah. Actually, you can change uh, settings on your fields, uh, change data type, folders if you need, add any other uh, measures, hierarchies, and so on. So it's a very handy tool if you plan to to create uh, other services. Um, another tool I wanted to show it's uh, Duck Studio. Uh, I didn't find it uh, as handy as uh, tabular editor, but it was mentioning because it's uh, it's a good tool. Uh, you can uh, connect it either to your uh, Power BI, which is opening right now. I have open uh, Power BI empty file and uh, Duck Studio can see it. So he is suggesting me to, to use uh, Power BI model, but I'm going to connect to uh, tabular server and select a model that we created. Uh, good thing here is that uh, you can use query builder. Uh, so all the queries are written in a DAX language. And uh, here you can uh, work, you can run, and you will see the result of your query. And uh, your query is built for you. So, yeah, it's in this case, it is quite a good um, tool when you are not sure about your knowledge in DAX, and it will help you to, to build your first uh, calculations. Okay. Um, oh, and by the way, I just wanted uh, quickly to present um, another, it is a sample project, AdventureWorks, uh, how uh, actual project can look in, uh, in all the services. So, um, yeah, you can see that it's a, it's a big uh, project with a lot of calculations. You are just writing your uh, calculation in, a, in a, this field and yeah, you can recalculate a lot of stuff. So that is a good way to create your uh, time uh, related calculations, um, some any other aggregation. So, all of this will be saved uh, in analysis services, and you can easily use this, use it in your uh, visualizations tool, either uh, Excel or Power BI in, in our case. So you can see that uh, yeah, you can add a lot value to your project by adding different DAX calculations. So user user don't need to do it by his own. You can pre-calculate everything that is required, and so then you can just from Power BI drag and drop fields and uh, see the data. And uh, uh, right now, I will present uh, how you can use uh, Power BI with um, uh, analysis services. Uh, to connect Power BI to analysis service, you need to get data from analysis services. Um, it is the only 
uh, data source you can use as connect live from a Power BI. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, in this case, uh, data is not imported or cached uh, into the Power BI. You are just uh, live connected to the uh, model and uh, consuming data from it just on the fly. You can also use import mode. It's, uh, it will uh, store data inside Power BI um, file. But yeah, this is an advantage of uh, working with a uh, model uh, because sometimes uh, decision to use analysis services uh, on the project is uh, to extend Power BI capabilities. Uh, because as I saw, uh, as I uh, showed before, uh, you can load like, large amounts of data into your model and process it in parallel, but you can do you cannot do it in uh, um, Power BI, for example. So you can create a new model yeah, and connect live from Power BI yeah, and, uh, and use it on your project. I will use connect live in our case. I think it's loading. Yeah, I used the uh, wrong server name, so it didn't work. So I can see the list of uh, models on the server. I'm connecting the, uh, to the one we created. Okay, so right now you are ready to use uh, your model in your uh, Power BI visuals. So uh, you can see that uh, we can see all these um, folders we created in uh, tabular editor. Uh, we can see all the calculations that we added and everything we can use for visual purposes. We actually don't need to do a lot right now in uh, Power BI. I guess that I just made some uh, syntax mistakes, so that's why it's, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, that is actually how you can use Power BI in your. Um, so this is quite a small model. But that I did for um, uh, demo purposes. But if we, uh, uh, the other thing I want to mention is that you cannot uh, connect more than one uh, model into one Power BI file. So when you use uh, connect live, uh, you cannot connect at the same time to uh, two uh, models. So you can see right now, all new data uh, is uh, is not available for me. But I can uh, change a source and uh, browse some other model. Yeah, so you, you can see that much more 
calculated fields and measures can be found here. So you can just uh, build your uh, reporting on top of this. And uh, yeah, everything is pre calculated. So it's actually a good uh, self service tool. So you can just uh, show user how to use Power BI and all the measures. He doesn't need to uh, write any docs to calculate uh, any additional measures. You can do everything in a model. And user just will need to uh, drag and drop fields and create his own um, visualization if needed. The same you can do with uh, Excel. You can connect as a Power Pivot uh, table and also do uh, your uh, data. Um, visualization in Excel. Uh, any questions for now? Hello, I have a question. Um, when we are referring to the analytic service model, uh, what scope of the data we are uh, mm, referring? So is it... Uh, online uh, operation of uh, data in SQL database or it is preloaded data set? Uh, yeah, actually uh, data is uh, what, what you, you do when you create your model, you are processing data. It uh, actually means that your data will be loaded uh, into the another services uh, uh, storage. So uh, what I wanted also to show is uh, where you can use uh, Management Studio. Yeah, if you connect to your um, uh, yeah to your model, so you can process your table from here. What will it mean? That uh, data will be physically loaded into the uh, server. So you are uh, querying data from the server online. Is it possible to configure some schedule of such yeah. data processing? Yeah, you can do it uh, by using uh, uh, data factory or uh, Azure functions. Okay, thank you. Okay, I will switch back to presentation. So um, that's it uh, with demo. Uh, and uh, what I wanted uh, to tell with this uh, quick um, uh, demo and presentation uh, is uh, I hope that uh, after this uh, demo, you can evaluate whether you uh, need analysis services on your project and if it makes sense to use it. Um, it is really a good tool if you need to uh, scale your existing uh, solution, uh, in particular, if you need to scale your Power BI uh, capabilities. Um, another good usage for this service is that uh, you can provide user with uh, self service BI tool. And uh, at uh, teach them, them how to use Excel and Power BI, and uh, you will always have your uh, um, aggregated, uh, cleansed uh, data storage when different departments uh, can use data from. Um, yeah, the other good thing is that uh, you don't need to keep your uh, service online all the time. You can shut down it when you don't need it. Uh, it's also is this uh, also can be uh, automated, so you can just schedule time uh, when to uh, start your server, when to shut down it. Um, it's all in Azure, so you don't need to any other um, hardware or software. Yeah, you just need to pay for your uh, storage uh, in uh, for analysis services, and that will be it. Um, yeah, actually, I, I believe that is all I wanted to uh, tell today. Um, do you have any questions? Hi, Alina. Um, I do not have a question, but 
I think that there is one thing worth mentioning here. Um, I'm currently in a project that is uh, lifting its, its um, SSIS capabilities into in the cloud, and uh, we were um, discovering various options how to do it properly. And uh, we were thinking about AAS, but there is also one other option that might be more appealing in your projects, uh, which is Power BI premium capacity. So uh, basically it works the same way. Uh, you have your model, uh, but you do not need uh, analysis services to, um, to host it. You host it directly to Power BI uh, in cloud, and it works in the same manner as an AAS. However, the cost might be, might be more appealing because um, AAS has quite steep pricing. And in Power BI Premium, there's an option to pay per user, which is around $15 per month, I think. Uh, and for small projects, that might be a better choice. So um, if you have tabular models in your SSAS or AAS um, systems, then you might consider Power BI Premium as a better choice. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Uh, thank you for this uh, um, uh, thought. Yeah, uh, Power BI might be also a good uh, option, uh, but uh, the advantage of using another service is that you can uh, connect uh, other tools to it. I mean, you can use uh, another visualization tools to connect to your analysis services. So yeah, you are in Power BI Premium, uh, you are limited to uh, Power BI or Excel. Yeah, and uh, in case of another services, it's a bit uh, wider range of tools you can use on top of it. Um, okay, if uh, no other questions, I think it would be it. Uh, 